Hey everyone, welcome to Aussie Father and Son Reviews. I'm the father. And I'm the son. And this is our review of WandaVision episode... Five. Episode five. Um, oh yeah, so if if you haven't watched uh, up to episode five and WandaVision, go watch it now. Uh, but if you have, you can continue on. Yep. Because there will be spoilers in this video. We will be talking about lots yes. of spoilers. <laughs> so what happened? Well, we haven't actually done a review of one, two, three, nah. and four. So our quick summary is episode one and two was all sitcom based. Yes. And kind of a little clues, but if you really didn't think it was in the MCU, it would be really weird. Yes, then true. episode three, sitcom based again, um, decade change, and had a little bit more clues yeah. along. And then episode four last week, was like yeah that was the best episode <laughs> that was so good so because it was all sword based we saw the blip monica rambeau came back from that and we saw it didn't develop wonder or vision anywhere but we saw yeah. the swords perspective or outside yes. the hex what actually is going on and we got monica a lot rambeau, more answers about what's happening yeah and darcy was came in yeah um which is pretty cool and then so this episode I didn't actually know what was going to happen. I didn't know, yeah. would we go back to sitcom? I actually thought we'd just go I, back I to sitcom. I kind of thought that it would do a mix because you don't introduce something like that and then just disappear it. Oh, well, I thought they would just leave us hanging, kind yeah. of fishing, let us hang for a bit. Now that they have access to, to perspectives, that, that gives them more length, like more... Yeah. Yep, so that so what happened in this episode was we saw it was a decade change again in the sitcom, which was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, family ties for for me, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And um, but then we also saw the sword section of it, and so it was yeah. a very link. Now there was a couple of things in it, a couple of big things in it. Was the first one was. Wanda's very aware of what's outside yeah, the hex. Is. I didn't think she would be, but she was outside with the drone and she had that confrontation. Yeah. That was pretty huge. Yeah, well. Wow. Um, and the other thing that was huge was Vision. Vision's always just been kind of playing along with Wanda and I didn't know if yeah. she, she was... If she, he was just an extension of her memory. Yes, yep. But we know yep. she stole his body from Sword. That's and a big reveal. she may have resurrected him in some yeah. sort of way. Because he had his own thing. And then they had a confrontation and they're yeah, yelling at so each other and then they both rose up. How yeah. cool was that section? That was so cool. Um, and yeah, yelling. And then he had that with his co-worker co-worker that he yeah. was able to go to his brain and yeah. and he was trapped and so there was this whole thing of vision um in there really good episode it, it yeah. moved it along ahead we're episode five into it now of nine episodes so there's only four to go so we're over that halfway mark and it's really set up that so wanda is the, yeah. the main baddie but we've got some theories about that so okay. Yeah, one of our first theories is that Agnes, one of uh, uh, one of Wanda's good friends in the sitcom, that she's actually Agnetha Harkis from the comics. Ooh. Uh, some of the reasons why I think this is because she was wearing a, a brooch in episodes one and two that she actually wears in the comics. Yep. And uh, in epis intro of the intro of the episode two, in she was standing away from the townsfolk. Like she's a different, like she's not controlled, or like she's in a different yeah, section from them, or something. Yep. And then, yeah, she knew more when she, when Vision was questioning them about, hey, things are going a little bit weird. She she knew about Monica not being from the Hex, so she like, and yeah, in in the newest episode, episode five. She was talking to Wanda like she needed to redo a scene, Ooh, like she wasn't was... controlled, wasn't being controlled by Wanda. So that was very interesting. And an interesting vision had no idea what yeah. was going on there, it, and, and then was like, What's they, going were, on? they were just trying to like, then they're like, it was like they made a mistake or something. Yep. Yeah. Do you want to redo this? And yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, she's look. I think there's a big. At the moment, it's saying that Wanda's controlling it all. Monica yeah, Rambeau but came out and says it's all Wanda. Agnes could be doing that because in the comics she has powerful powers that can rewrite reality. Mm. She's a witch. Yeah. So maybe she's actually doing it all, and yes. Wanda thinks she's yeah. doing it, but 
Yeah. Um, and there's lots of things like the kennel for the dog was actually in yes. a previous episode. Yeah. Um, yeah. And she was, and she brought in. Yeah. She 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 knew what was actually going on in the house. Yes. And just arrived with um, the kids, and the kids' ages changed, and she didn't. Um, yeah, she didn't worry. notice. They yeah. were doing magic in front of her. Yeah. 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 So. Um, yeah, she's a big clue. Now the second one was probably the biggest yeah, that reveal. Was awesome. At the end, Quicksilver arrived at the door. Yeah. And I actually thought Quicksilver might make yeah, an appearance. But... However, wrong Quicksilver. Yeah. So if you don't know, there's actually two Quicksilvers. Um, back, two movies came out in the same year. Yeah. And it was in X-Men, X-Men Days of Future Past, and had a Quicksilver played by um, Aaron Taylor Johnson, and then at the same year, Age of Ultron came out, the second Avengers movie, and had, sorry, Aaron, Aaron Taylor Johnson played in the um, Age of Ultron, and Evan Peters played Quicksilver in X-Men. And so, and at that time, they played them both in two separate movies, and everybody loved the X-Men. Yeah. So much better. That there was a scene, scene in the kitchen. Yeah. It was the music. It's probably one of the best, um, best yeah. action yeah, comic book scenes ever, that right. and that was pretty cool. But suddenly, this actor yeah. has crossed over from X Men into the MCU, yeah. and so is it just a once-off that we go, oh, that was pretty cool? Um, as um, we saw, they said, oh, has he been, has he been recast? Yeah. Um, and, but. This could actually lead to so much Yeah, more. like in the Doctor Strange Multi Madness, yep. he, they could have more X-Men in that. That would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. And this could open up into Spider-Man yeah. as well. We know lots of going on yeah, in Spider-Man. Some um, other Spider-Mans Spider might be in there. Yeah. yeah. And so this could actually open it all up. Could we see Hugh Jackman with his claws yeah. come in? Oh, I'd love that. Imagine Hulk and Hugh Jackman fighting next to each other. <laughs> There'd be this could really, really open it up because Disney actually own the rights of it now. They didn't when the movie really? came out. So now that they actually own the rights, they can actually bring anything into it. And this is the first hint. And um, oh, some people were saying that it's as big as um, yeah. the Luke Skywalker in Mandalorian. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't think so. That was probably <laughs> that was way up there. But this is pretty huge and could probably have bigger consequences than yeah, Luke Skywalker. Yeah, this definitely. could actually flow on more. So that was um, our, our theory that this could actually flow on and in 10 years time, this could actually have, yeah, still could, have an yeah, impact in the MCU, this one scene. Um, and then you had another theory. Yeah, it, so the kids, Wanda and Vision have kids in the comics. They're, they're, they become superheroes in the Young Avengers. Ooh. Their superhero names are Wiccan. Wiccan has magical powers like Wanda and Speed, who's a speedster like Quicksilver. Ooh. And in, in the West Coast volume 251, a comic book. The Avengers it, one. Yeah. Yep. It, they're... It, that Wanda actually loses her kids, and in her grief, she makes you no know, like uh, she changes reality to make like make them still in it. She kind of makes a hex Ooh. in the comics. Oh wow! Yeah, so this is so this shows that Marvel's using the comics in their TV shows, which is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. And and we know that things from the hex can, yeah. that she creates can actually come out of the hex. So we've seen a few things. Monica yeah, Rambo's clothes came yeah. out. Um, the B Man. The end of his cable yeah. was a skipping, skipping rope. rope yeah. um, so there's a few things that can actually come out. So these two kids, our, our theory is that these two kids yeah, are actually going to come out, out and join the Young Avengers with Hawkeye's daughter and maybe Monica Rambo. Yeah, which she is in the Young Avengers, yeah, isn't she? In the so, that she sounds, is. so that's a big thing that I think, um, and that the, it's actually interesting. The other thing about those kids is they're able to change their age. Yes, they are. And is that so because of Speed's powers? Because he's so yeah, fast. Maybe. They can I actually, know. Speedsters can heal quickly. So yeah, can so maybe change he's aging and then the other one might be using his magical powers. Or is Ooh. it just, or they do they have different powers? Mm, yeah, so that's all an interesting thing. Yeah, maybe Wiccan's changing their age. Yeah. Um, he's powerful like his mum. So yep. yeah, so there, there are a couple of things. So there's some of our theories. Uh, we're going to do an ep we're going to do a review of it every yeah, episode from we'll now on. To, yeah. So um, hope you enjoyed it. 
I'm the father. And I'm the son. And this was our review. Yeah, thank you for watching.